Just uh, eat lunch here on a park bench. Got some fufu dessert. I've had three of them already. They're not very filling. Pop this one open here. So what it is is meringue with a, uh, I wouldn't call it a pudding, it's like a soup. It's really thin and then you're supposed to put this, uh, some sort of syrup on top. Cup of coffee. I just boil water and put some instant stuff in there. And it, after a while it tastes pretty good. Get used to it. And I'm having one of these, uh... Yeah. Get it out of here. These pizza... You know, I usually just go to the supermarket, get something to eat. I never... I haven't eaten at any of the restaurants here. They're just way... Uh, the ones I passed by, the uh, they have outside menus and they were way too expensive. And I know the portions wouldn't fill me up, so I'm not, just not going to bother with it. Well. Alright, getting weird looks. Time to shut her down. Boy, days like this. Cycling really doesn't get any better. Better life's about dead. A ride right before it drops out on me. Keep it on the road. It's probably all bouncy as hell. That little canal there sure is smelly. It's like a really nice temperature, sun's out. Doesn't really get much better. No traffic to contend with. Just uh, stopped here, waste some time. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a swim and then over here, that green thing there, that's a shower, so. Relax, take a dip. Cabbie's mixture in the uh, old Altenay. This is the last evening in France. This is not the best camp spot, it's just right off the road. That goes down into a uh, snakes around, comes back this way, and there's a uh, like a retaining wall and maybe a uh, like an earth home or something. Kind of interesting. And then over here, up dish, there's a uh, embank, uh, what do you call it? They plowed over dirt over this little road here so people can have access. But uh, just right over here is the highway. And uh, I'm probably, uh, hmm, this is a tent set up. Not every place is nice. Sometimes you gotta pick a gravel road. <laughs> but, um, 
just over these like little hills is uh, Spain and uh, tomorrow I'll be staying with the warm shower host so I am in Spain just a small little village it's like Volintero or something I don't know something. but I picked up a thing of pipe tobacco Indian summer let me open this up, see... Uh, I have no idea where this is made or who makes it. It's uh, aromatic, I think, so... Yeah. But, it's gonna sit here and relax. And uh, I got a little bit of time to kill before... Uh, uh, there's a warm shower hose here, so... I'll be staying up with them for the night. One of the strange things that I found while cycling the, uh, the Spanish countryside is that you'll see prostitutes. There's an empty chair there, but normally they'll be sitting in a chair. Uh, prostitution has gotten kind of lazy in Spain, I guess. <laughs> or long wait times. They'll just uh, be waiting in a chair and uh, yeah, just wait for uh, waiting for a trick or whatever they call it in the prostitution profession. Coming down from these uh, mountains, I guess you'd say, uh, you're hugging the coast and all you can see is uh, water down below and it kind of has like a flying type of feeling to it. It's kind of kind of neat man that camp spot right over there that campsite campground 33 euros holy crap and look at that weird ass statue on a pretty sweet ass bicycle path nice view I think this has been the best view I took Eurovelo 8, which is supposed to be the Mediterranean cycling route, which uh, I'm not a fan of. And and this is uh, riding the coast of Spain has been more uh, better weather, nicer views, not as many people, less traffic. Spain and it feels like it just arrived in the future weird looking buildings I don't know what they are probably uh, I'm guessing like theaters or museums yeah, it looks like there is American football in Europe <laughs> <laughs> 